Welcome to A Closer Look. I'm your host, Linda Fontaine. Today, my guest is Stephanie Hernandez. She's with Kingsport Chamber of Commerce, your Kingsport Chamber of Commerce. She's the membership events director. Thank you for joining us here today, Stephanie. Thank you, Linda. It's a pleasure. Well, it's good to see you again. She used to work with us here at Holston Valley Broadcasting, so it's nice to see a familiar face. Stephanie, tell us what's going on with the Chamber of Commerce these days and, and membership. Oh, well, we have a lot of exciting things that's going on. Uh, my personal favorite thing that's going on right now is I'm planning for our third annual Brew Ha Ha. It is a night of pizza, beer, and laughs, and it's going to be on May the 7th outside at Metaview this year. Oh, that's nice. I went to it the first year and yeah. loved it. I oh, loved it. So you probably had to make it outside because of COVID and everything, maybe. Is that right? Absolutely. And we're going to, the MetaView staff is always amazing and they're going to have all the regulations in place. We're going to do temperature checks, requiring masks when people are walking around, um, you know, making sure everything is safe for everybody. Oh, that's fantastic. So when is the brouhaha? It's going to be May the 7th. It's on a Friday night and it's going to be at 6.30 p.m. Very good. Well, tell me a little bit about it. Who's going to be there? What's the entertainment going to be like? Walk us through it. Okay, Linda, you get to get the first glimpse or the first talking about of our comedians. We have not released any information on our comedians as of yet. So you get to have the pleasure of hearing them first. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. We are going to have three nationally recognized comedians that are going to come in. We have one that's coming all the way from um, Los Angeles, California. Wow. Um, the first one we're going to have is Warren B. Hall, which he does a lot of a lot of dry bar comedy. And he was also on the Fox TV show Laughs. Um, oh. the, ne the next comedian we're going to have is Spencer James. And he won the World Series of Comedy in 2014. So with those two, they're going to be like our opening acts. And then for our headliner, we are going to have Ty Barnett. Ty has appeared on America's Got Talent season 15. Okay. He was also a finalist on The Last Comic Standing. Ty has appeared on The Tonight Show. He has been on HBO, Bad Boys of Comedy, and he has also had appearances on Comedy Central. So we have a lineup of some phenomenal comedians this year. Oh, that sounds fun. So this is coming up May 7th. What, what are the times? What time does it start? We are going to have um, everyone come in at 630. And what we're, we're going to do is we're going to let everyone enjoy their pizza, go through the pizza lines. We've got 10 pizza vendors this year. I would love to tell you who they are. It's Chef's Pizzeria, Fox's Pizzeria, The Meadows, uh, Pizza Hut, Main Street Pizza Company, Fazoli's, um, mm. Crazy Tomato, Domino's, Beef O'Brady's, and Giuseppe's. We're going to have over 3,200 slices of pizza there that night. Wow. So people better come hungry. Do you have yeah. a limit on how many people can sign up? How many are you hoping for? Oh, well, right now, and this is kind of surprising, but we have almost sold out with just our sponsors. Tickets haven't went on sale yet. They will go on sale on April the 1st, but... Right now, we're expecting to have about 430 people, and wow. we've already sold 380 tickets. So oh, tickets, wow. tickets are going to go super quick and in a hurry. So if you yeah. want to get tickets, be able to get online first thing April 1st, so you can get make sure you get your tickets so you can come and attend this great event. Okay, so people go online April 1st to get tickets to Brouhaha, and what's the website? It's kingsportchamber.org and you'll be able to go on there and you can pay for your tickets online. And how so, much are tickets? They're going to be $40 a piece this year. All right. And that includes the pizza and the entertainment. And do you get drinks with that or anything like that? Every With every ticket, we give um, two beer tickets. So you can go in and you can get um, a domestic beer, draft beer. We're going to have all kinds of custom beers there. Um, Holston Distributing is our beverage sponsor again this year, and they bring a variety of um, alcoholic drinks for sure. 
Okay, so people can buy stuff too if they want? Yes, and after the, if you use your two beer tickets and you want some more, we will have beer for sale as well. And um, MetaView is going to set up a pay bar as well. So you can actually have some mixed drinks this year at Brujaha as well. Oh, that's cool. Then of course, I'm sure you have tea and water and things like that too available for those that don't partake. Absolutely, Absolutely yes. Okay, and very good. I'd love to tell you, Linda, who is making this not uh, happen for us. It's our oh, one sponsors. We have three title sponsors this year. Edwards Tipton and Wit Agency, um, mm -hmm. Honda King Sport, and TEC Industrial are all three of our title sponsors this year. And we have four associate sponsors, and it's Jenkins Insurance, BDM Construction, Asbury Place, and Rutherford Moss and Company. And along with those, we actually did some table sponsors again this year. And we have already sold 29 table sponsors. So like I said, this event is going wow. to be, I think people are just itching to get out and do mm -hmm. something because we've all been caught up in our homes for so long now. So everybody's ready to get back to some sort of normalcy. This is outside, you said? Yes, in the Portica Share. I did not know what that word was until... <laughs> I, <laughs> I went to talk with Ramona and her team at MetaView and she was like, we, we can have it out on the Portica share. And I was like, I've never heard of that before. So I actually had to Google it and look it up. <laughs> so it is a covered area. Yes. It, well, it's, yeah. it's partly covered. It's a circle, um, you know, partly covered, but so it will be outside. Well, let's hope that it doesn't rain. We do have a, a plan if it does rain, we can move into the grand ballroom and we've got that place as a backup. So we're gonna have it no matter what rain or shine on May the 7th. Okay, and are there any restrictions? Like do people have to wear a mask or anything like that? Yes, we want people, as long as they're at their table and they're eating, we, you know, they don't have to wear their masks at that, at that point. But, you know, we definitely are going to do some social distancing. The tables are going to, some of the tables are going to have six chairs at them as opposed to the normal 10, um, you know, just to make sure that people feel comfortable and feel safe. We don't want anybody there, you know, feeling like, you know, we're helping try to spread this COVID. Yeah. We want to stop it as much as we possibly can. So, but you know, when they're not eating, we would require a mask to be on. We would want everybody to, you know, make sure that they're not experiencing any, any symptoms or anything before they come out that night as well. It is such a great event. I tell you, it's one of my favorites. I really enjoyed it the year I went. And then last year, I, I guess you didn't have it or did you have it? You didn't we have did it not, last year. We did not have yeah. one of the year before that, I couldn't make it. I was out of town or something. So hopefully yeah. I'll be able to make it this year. If I get well, on the online fast enough and get one of those precious tickets, that is. Absolutely, Linda. I, I definitely want you to come. And you uh, can even bring Steve if you want to. <laughs> oh, he would love it. Oh, my gosh. He's so funny. He should be up there as one of the people doing some of the comedy. I tell you, he's a nut. So, Stephanie, let me just touch a little bit on some other things going on. You have your annual chamber dinner coming up as well, right? Yes, this is um, one of the biggest fundraisers for the King Sport Chamber is our annual dinner and Bob Feagans, uh, he does an, a wonderful job with that every year. Um, you know, in the past, we've all had 1700 attendance in attendance for the night. And it's one of the biggest chamber events in the nation. Yeah. So we are very, very proud of this event. Um, it, this year, it's going to be our 74th and it will be on Friday, August the 20th at MetaView. Awesome. And there's Go ahead. opportunities available. Sorry, but there's still sponsorship opportunities available. Um, so if anybody wants to sponsor this event, um, they can contact Bob Vegans. Okay, very good. And anything else you want to touch on that's coming up? You said something earlier to me before we went on the air about a golf scramble that's coming up. This is another one of Bob Feagan's events. Um, he, this is going to be our 29th annual golf scramble. Um, and it will be on Monday, May the 24th at Ridge Fields. Um, and if you want to get your team in, you can contact Bob. Or if you want to sponsor a hole, you can contact Bob Feagan's as well. Um, I would like to say that uh, we are going to be having a virtual new member orientation tomorrow. And that's sponsored by uh, Riverfront. 
restaurant. Um, and that is a great chance for anybody that doesn't know much about the chamber to get to understand our chamber a lot better. So if anybody is interested, you can go on to our kingsportchamber.org website and register for that event as well. Okay, we just have a little over a minute or so left. So is there anything else you want to touch on about programs or contact information or something like that? Sure, absolutely. Um, one of the things that I love to discuss is becoming a member of your Kingsport Chamber. Um, your Kingsport Chamber is here to help our business community. That's why I try to encourage businesses to be involved with their chamber because we are here to help them. We are here to give information. We are here to make sure that they have the networking opportunities, sponsorship opportunities, advertising opportunities. And you know, the personal relationship that you have with the Kingsport Chamber staff is wonderful because if your business is having a problem, we actually get involved and we try to help in the best ways that we can. So I encourage anyone, any business, please join your Kingsport Chamber. It's very important and you will see benefits from it for sure. Okay, what's the easiest way for people to contact y'all real quick? Um, kingsportchamber.org, our website. If you are wanting to uh, fill out an application you can to become a member, you can go on there. And as soon as you fill out the application, I get an email alert and I call you within 24 hours. So it's very simple. And if you just have questions, general questions, you can call anytime just to the um, 392-8800. Perfect. Stephanie, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for joining us today and good luck with the brouhaha. Thank you. I hope to see you there, Linda. <laughs> I hope so. I hope to be there. And we'll be back with more of a closer look in just a minute.